Okay, I'm going to quickly go over what was done on the electronics part of this. Um, the kill switch was added. I also loosened the spring a little bit. There's three different springs in there. The middle one is the one you want to clip and stretch out and make it a little bit softer compared to the stock configuration. Placed all three pots with one of the correct specs. The original ones just had a generic sound. By changing the pots, it had a, gave it a more strat sound. Um, that was probably the main thing with any cheap guitar. You're going to want to replace the pots because sometimes they're just so far out of spec. Uh, these are supposed to be 250s with strats. I have another Squire pickup guard that uh, has 400 somethings and the capacitor is, is a .047, uh, which usually would be used with humbucking pickups. So I'm going to be replacing those. But I replaced these, and this makes it sound completely better when I get to the playing demonstration. You'll see that. I also tried out a bunch of different capacitors on this, um, on the tone controls, and ended up putting just the .0047 so that these are more like fine tuners um, than you know, normal. Most people don't use the lower half of that to tone control. Um, this pickup was replaced with the Squire pickup that I overwound. I overwound it because it has a lower output than the stock pickups, but I couldn't replace these with Squires because the string spacing didn't match up that well. And in fact, the Squire pickup in improved the string spacing back here. So uh, these were like measuring 9,000, but they have weaker magnets on uh, the resistance. And this, I got this up to about 7.3, and uh, the volume is pretty well matched. I also added a steel plate. It's kind of covered up with tape right now. Um, steel plate that looks like this. It's uh, made from angle iron. It's about point. 0.071, 0.072 in thickness, and that increases the mid-range, rolls off the highs, makes it sound a little bit more like a Telecaster pickup. Not completely like a Telecaster pickup, but it's a warmer sound, almost like a tube clean sound, because uh, it does get a little bit more muddier than a clean sound, but I've tried it on and off, on and off, and I think it sounds a lot better with that on there. Um, I made about 10 extra, if anyone wants to buy one for 5 bucks. If you buy them online, they're seven to ten dollars. Um, you can add a grounding wire to it, just sand off little area and solder a wire to it and add it to the ground. I didn't find that it made the difference. Um, I've also tried a brass one that was .04 and that just didn't, I couldn't really hear much of a difference on it. Um, the website uh, singlecoil.com I think has an article on about it. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the in the sidebar because um, it says if it gets too thick then it just gets muddy but um, I found this was a, this was worth putting on there. I didn't put it on there because there, this was just barely enough space with the thickness um, of the guitar cavity, and you're gonna hear the most difference on the bridge pickup. So there's really no reason to put it on the other two pickups. Um, and I have about ten of these. Probably sell them for like five bucks a piece if anybody wants one. Um, I changed the um, grounding wire so going directly to the tremolo bridge. This goes right into the body cavity, so it helps ground the cavity, and then I have another ring terminal from the tremolo claw into the body, so that makes it easier to take this off if you're, if you're working on it. Um, also isolates a little bit. Um, went over the tone capacitors. Uh, redid the grounding to more of a star grounding, not completely like the guitarnuts.com star grounding, where you're grounding all to one point, because I didn't find as much difference. Even with the shielding, maybe it's not thick enough, but even with the shielding on the guitar, which I'll hold up in a second, didn't seem to do that much difference on it. It's, they're still single coils. They're still going to hum if you get if you're close enough to a source. Uh, I redid the tone control so that uh, the middle pickup does not have any tone. I'll go over that when I play it. And uh, this one's for the bridge. This one's for the thing for the um, neck. And like you'll see, it's more of a fine tune. It's really nice. I tried out a bunch of different capacitor values, and uh, it sounds really nice. Um, you know, with the kill switch, don't want to take too long on this. The original knobs were right up against the pick guard with the plastic, leftover plastic, protective plastic underneath it. So um, I just used a screwdriver with some tape around it rather than using the rag trying to get underneath there. And if I was a professional, I would get one of those little pullers and definitely get it off. Um, that's why with, with the newer pots I put in there, I put just a little bit of Vaseline and I pinched the um, tops a little bit so they're easy to get off. There's enough clearance that you can get a rag underneath there to pull those off again. But there are some tiny little chips around each knob. It's a single ply pick guard. It's not a routing's not even completely. You can see it's not even perfect around there. That's typical for guitar in this price range.
Point oh oh one a one one thousandth cap across the volume pot. Good lighting on here. Um, so a lot of something turning down the volume, uh, you lose the treble. So by putting in that, that's like a treble bleed cap. Um, there's really no bad effects to that for the most part. Um, some guitars benefit more than others. Uh, it's something real subtle that most people probably don't realize they have that problem with it. But if you look, if you listen for it, um, that's something I almost start adding to most guitars. I, I I have or work on. I also clipped the screws. A lot of times these cheaper guitars come with sheet metal screws with points on them, so I clipped them off with the bolt cutter. I also have just some extra tape around just so they don't tear up the foil, uh, shelling on the body cavity too much. Um, that's that. Added shielding to the body cavity. And the bridge is off. Um, didn't seem to do that much. Maybe it's not thick enough. It's definitely got definitely got continuity between the whole thing. That's important. It, it's all connected. I tested it with the with the multimeter. Um, address the fret ends. I don't know if you can how well you can see that, but they're rounded off. Um, probably some file marks here and there. I didn't really sand. Probably some scratches next to a couple of them here where I was I was trying to finish them off with the wrong Dremel tool with a rubberized ceramic. I have one that goes on the top that's grooved, and I actually picked up that one instead of the flat one to try to make these look better. Um, but it gives you a nice example. of was like to have dressed fret ends where it's nice and smooth. Um, it's been oil fingerboard's been cleaned in oil. It's relatively it's barely used.